So we're talking today about um, when prayer might be difficult, the various ways that might make prayer difficult, and also some things that might help for someone in that situation. So what might make prayer difficult? Firstly, it might be something like circumstances. Things like lockdown don't make prayer easy. Um, but it can also be a living situation. If someone's a full-time carer, it can be really hard to find five minutes or 10 minutes when someone can just take a bit of time out and find space. So sometimes it's just life. Sometimes it's a bit like an, an old pair of shoes. that They were great for a while, but they just don't work anymore. Um, somehow you've outgrown that particular approach and you need to find something new. Sometimes it's about unrealistic expectations. Some people have this image that prayer is always going to be comforting or always going to be inspiring or always going to be exciting. And sometimes it's just a lot more every day than that. It's just mundane. And that isn't necessarily a bad thing because it's about relationship. And relationships aren't always exciting. They aren't always comforting. They aren't always inspiring. Sometimes they're just people spending quiet time together. And that's a good thing. Sometimes it's that people are unsure of the God they think they might meet. So if they have a feeling that God is disappointed in them or that God is going to ask something from them that they don't feel like an offer, um, then it's understandable that they would avoid that God. Um, so sometimes it's about the kind of God they imagine. And often that God is, well, often, you never have I found that that God is actually the God they do meet. Uh, God is very rarely as angry or as disappointed or as frustrated as people think God is going to be. Sometimes it's health conditions. So for someone in chronic pain, for example, trying to sit still for any length of time can be really difficult. Um, or sometimes it's a mental health concern. So if someone's depressed, they might find it difficult to get motivated to pray. Or if someone is very anxious, they might find it very hard to settle themselves into prayer. Um, so sometimes it's uh, something that has gone wrong in terms of health um, that is difficult. And sometimes it's the assumption that everyone else knows what they're doing. I always use the example of bowling. I have never been 10 pin bowling. Uh, I managed to get through my youth without ever being taken on a, on a youth group to do that. And as a result, I have no idea how it works and I have no idea how to do it. And as a result, I avoid it because I work on the assumption that everyone else is going to know what they're doing and I am not um, and sometimes the same thing happens with prayer people just assume that everyone else knows what they're doing so they just don't bother trying um, or they're not it's not that they're not bothered they just don't feel that they're able to try so what are some of the things that help firstly there's something about finding something that fits with the reality of life as it is right now for someone um, so taking prayer out of the theoretical, out of the thing you read about in books and making it something that works in the, the grain of everyday life. Usually little and often is easier. So often people will try, they'll have this idea in their head that they're going to do the, the holy R um, and they aren't able to manage the R because that R just isn't possible in their life. Um, so there's something about finding something that is little and often, something that's smaller and can be broken down into chunks. So it might be that you're able to manage five minutes three times a day. Well, that's great. That's a whole lot better than nothing. Um, so it's something about finding something that is little and manageable and feels like something you can accomplish. For a lot of people, doing anything other than sitting still can help. Um, if sitting still is difficult for whatever reason, actually getting out and moving can change the block or move the block. I'm a great believer in encouraging playfulness. So instead of feeling that you have to do something, you must do something, um, I'm very keen that people will just try and do something different or new. Um, you know, go for a walk, use bubbles, use color, use art, use anything that might help. Um, but instead of feeling that this is something to be endured, uh, allowing yourself to feel that it's something that you can enjoy. And I think it also helps if a church culture doesn't take prayer for granted. So sometimes the assumption people will say, oh, we'll just pray about it. But if someone doesn't know how to do that, then that can be really difficult. Um, so there's something about not assuming that people know how to pray. 
because lots of people don't know how to pray and there's no shame in that. Um, so there's something about teaching and encouraging and talking about prayer um, as though it's something that we're all working at, not something some people know how to do and some people don't know how to do. Uh, we're all trying to work this thing out. And sometimes it just helps to sit down with someone you trust and talk it through. Um, talking something through is a huge help um, because it allows you to hear yourself say all the things that you've been allowing to worry around in your brain. Um, so it can help to just let someone else hear and to speak into whatever's going on for you. So here are some things that might help, you might want to try. The first is very simply uh, trying to pray with your senses. Um, so yes, use what you can see and what you can hear in your prayer, but also use what you can feel or what you can smell or what you can taste. Um, so something like holding a flower or an orange um, can be a window into the greatness or the intricacy of God. Um, so trying your senses. Sometimes trying a different bodily posture um, or moving can help. Um, you know, the standard ways of praying are often sitting and standing. But if you kneel, that feels very different. Or if you lie down on your front, that feels different. Or if you lie on your back, that feels different. So sometimes just using your body in a different way can help. I'm a keen advocate of saying that little commas of prayer can help. So one tip that I give people, one of my own favorites is uh, I pray for someone every time I put on my socks in the morning because I know that's something I'm going to do every day and I'm not brilliant at remembering to pray for people. I do remember to pray for people when I'm putting on my socks. Um, so it's something that integrates it into my daily routine so that I know that I'll do it. Um, another way of doing it is every time you put the kettle on to take a little one minute, two minute prayer each time you put the kettle on and depending on how much tea or coffee you drink uh, that can be a little routine of prayer that builds into your day there are some really amazing resources out there so there are things like pray as you go which isn't so new anymore i think it's 10 years old um take time abbey of the arts all of which are web-based and have really useful stuff on there really useful resources another thing to try is radical honesty Try telling God all the reasons you don't want to pray or try telling God all the reasons you're too busy to pray or try telling God all the things that make prayer too difficult for you. And you do that and you're praying. Um, prayer is meant to be honest and God doesn't need your Sunday best. God needs your day to day. Um, God needs and wants your day to day. So just being honest and saying, this is how I'm feeling. This is why I don't want to talk to you. All of those things are fine. And it may also be that words aren't your thing. Uh, the church does tend to major on words in prayer. And for some people, words are really off-putting. So it might be that art or creating, you know, crafts, images, music, film, any of those can be a way in. So it's, it's good to explore to see if there's stuff out there that maybe you haven't tried that might allow a way in. So if you want to have a conversation about this, here are a couple of conversation starters that might be useful. The first is, what has made prayer difficult for you or for those that you know? And the second is, what helps? <laughs>